guys, welcome back to Ava's Flava. I'm Ava, and on today's episode, I am going to show you guys how to make homemade cheeseburger hamburger helper. It's a little bit of a tongue twister, but it all gets straightened out when you take a nice, delicious bite because you're going to love it. It's so super duper yummy and kids love it so that's great too and you can add whatever you want to it and it's just delicious so let me show you guys what you're gonna need to make it So first what you're going to need is a pound of ground beef, one pound box of macaroni noodles. Okay, and in here I have some spices. I have about a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and about a half a teaspoon of paprika, smoked paprika. Four cups chicken broth. All right, and for the delicious cheese, I have uh, six slices of American cheese and then also about a cup of Colby Jack cheese shredded. All right guys, and the last thing you're gonna need besides salt and pepper, of course, is I'm just gonna add about a quarter cup of so of milk. Okay guys, we're gonna start cooking this meat. So on about medium high heat, I have my large uh, pot here, so you wanna make sure it's a pretty good size pot because you're gonna be cooking everything into it. Okay, so you're going to dump in your meat, and I'm using ground chuck, which is um, pretty nice and fatty, how I like it. But if you wanted to use a leaner meat, you could. You could even use, like, um, ground chicken. What's that would be good if, you, if that's your thing? Um, kind of change it up however you like. All right, I'm just going to kind of break this up and cook, um, just cook this until it's done, and then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay guys, so I, um, ground chuck is pretty fatty, so I just went ahead and drained it, um, so it's not so greasy, and at this point, normally I would add onions, but the chubbo, chubbo is, hates onions, and so this little paisley pie, so I just went ahead and snuck some onion powder in there, and garlic powder, you just going to give that a nice mix around, and some salt, and you can add more or less of uh, whichever of those spices that you like. And um, I was gonna say, if you're an onion lover and um, you're with somebody, if you decide to marry them, interview them first. If they don't like onions, tell them sorry, no can do. <laughs> oh, poor honey. It is such a pain to cook for someone that does not like onions if you love them. No, I'm just telling you. Oh, and that was Worcestershire sauce. Um, I forgot to mention that in the ingredients, but if you have it, throw some in. If not, then don't worry about it. You know, just do your thing. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and add in my noodles. And those are just macaroni noodles. And here, too, you can change around to what you like. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and add in the chicken broth. Okay, and then we're going to bring this up to a boil. I'm going to give this a nice little stir. We're going to bring this up to a boil and then let it simmer for like 15 or 20 minutes, okay? So you just want the pasta to start to absorb the liquid, which it's gonna do, and then we're gonna um, pour in some milk and cheese, and we're gonna be in business, all right? So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, so it's only actually been about 10 minutes. I'm hungry, so I got this boiling hard. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and add just a, like maybe a quarter cup of milk or so. You know, I'm kind of working around. The noodles are nice and soft. So I'm just going to give this a nice stir. And if you wanted to make this more like, you know, adult friendly, I mean, this is, you know what I'm saying. You could add mushrooms before you added the chicken broth. You could add some wine. You could, you know, do whatever you want. But this is perfect. It for real smells like hamburger helper in here. And the whole reason I uh, wanted to make this, oh, you're just gonna add your American cheese. Hold on, I'm switching stories real quick here. Um, 
I always use American cheese whenever I'm making macaroni and cheese or anything like this because it really gives it it melts beautifully and it really gives it the nice creaminess but then again you can change it up you could do like pepper jack cheese like smoked gouda you do whatever floats that little boat okay and um, go ahead and put the cheese all on you know change up the cheese whatever and I'm gonna put the lid on and drop it. I'm gonna actually just go ahead and turn off the heat because that uh, American cheese is gonna get nice and melty and gooey in there and then I'm just gonna mix it all around and it's gonna be time to plate but I was saying the reason why I <laughs> started making this was because when uh, my niece spends every summer with us and she said that she wanted me to make um, hamburger helper the cheeseburger one I was like wait a minute I know what will make this better. I'll just make it myself. And she actually liked it a lot better. So I thought I would whip this up and show you guys. Okay, so the, um, you know what? The cheese is probably melted. Looky there, honey. That's how you do, um, I don't know what it's called. The gift of the gab. <laughs> okay, so it, it's nice and getting melty. And you're just going to mix this around. For real, this is so creamy and <laughs> delicious and great and you guys are really really gonna love this I'm telling you this is like perfect especially um, I wanted to put together like recipes um, Chubba Hova was making me do this with my left hand <laughs> and I'm right-handed so that way he gets a better view of the camera but it's not working for me sorry honey okay I'm just gonna mix this all around but um I just wanted to whip up some recipes for you guys so like if say if like Jimmy and Lisa are coming over you have something <laughs> to slap oh, slap something together really quick you know like with the brownies you have a dessert and then here's this and then serve this with a beautiful salad and there you go okay so I'm gonna slap this on a plate and then take a bite for you guys and that is it <laughs> okay guys so it's nice and plated and I sprinkled with some <laughs> are nice and bold right bold plated whatever um, I sprinkled with some smoked paprika because smoked paprika is my thing these days and sprinkled a little bit of parsley on there made it somewhat fancy I'm telling you this is for real if you're looking a hamburger helper lover this is your thing girl you're gonna love it okay I'm gonna take a bite of this and um really you can make anything better than the box except there's one thing that I only love in the box and I've tried to make it a million times and it's a million times in scallop potatoes cheesy scallop potatoes are the best in the box that's the only thing that I like better in a box mmm for real so I was thinking delicious this is Paisley's favorite and I think you guys will love it too okay so don't forget to check out my Ava's Flava Facebook page and like it and check me out on Instagram because I post a lot on there and subscribe that would be so awesome um all right guys don't forget to slap this in your recipe box all right catch you next time bye <laughs>